Hi everyone, it's Tea Time with Tea again. And this week, uh, you'll notice that I still look a little rough from being sick. I thought I was over it, but the infection has set in the right side of my face and it's really swollen and painful. Matter of fact, remind me not to touch it again because that hurt really bad. Um, but anyway, on to the topic of the week. Um, our topic this week that was pulled comes from Christina on Facebook. Um, it is the... She wants my opinion on One Direction claiming they will be bigger than the Beatles. First reaction is, what the fuck? Really? Please. Oh, that landed in my water. How nice. But uh, One Direction, um, honestly never even listened to the band uh, I know they are five boys from England Scotland one of them's not the same nationality as the others I do know that they started on X Factor as solo artists and Simon Cal put them together as a boy band um, I know when they started, they were like 17, 18 years old. Uh, that's about all I knew about them. So I went and did a little research. I read the interviews in all of the UK papers that ran the article where Harry Styles, the front man of One Direction, made the statement they were going to be bigger than the Beatles or compared them to being as big as the Beatles. Um, I have really mixed feelings about this subject. I'm not a big boy band fan anyway. Um, I like one or two songs, but, you know, that's about it. I'm not one of the, never have been one of the girls that, oh, just faint it. All the cute little boy bands, whatever. A pretty face is a pretty face. If I'm listening to music, I want to hear talent. I want to see someone play an instrument. I want to know that they write their own music. And I want to know that they can sing without auto-tune. You know, I want them to sound just as good live as they do in the can. Huh. See, that's where... One Direction differs from the Beatles. The Beatles were popular in the 60s and 70s. They broke up in 1970 to pursue individual careers. But every one of them could play an instrument and play it well. Every one of them could write music, and they did. And their music actually had messages in it. Um... It wasn't all just about girls and trying to get a girl, trying to keep a girl, trying to fluff a girl's ego, whatever. Their music truly had messages of the times. Um, when Paul McCartney penned Blackbird, it is one of my favorite Beatles songs. It was about the fighting and the turmoil. And what has One Direction done? You don't know you're beautiful? Well, duh, most truly beautiful people don't know they're beautiful because beauty comes from the inside, not just what you look like. Um, the similarities between One Direction and the Beatles. Yes, One Direction has tons and tons and tons and droves of prepubescent screaming girl fans. The Beatles had that, but the Beatles fans were of every age. Um, that's about where the similarities end, other than them both being boy groups from England. The Beatles wrote their own music, played their own instruments. Um, they were trendsetters, style setters, the uh, mop top that they were famous for, the haircut, was titled The Beetle. 
everybody wanted to get the beetle cut once the British invasion hit America. I know that so many people will disagree with my opinion, but if music would go back to the way it was when the Beatles, the Stones, the Who, when all of those groups from England were, you know, in their prime, you know, touring and showing us what music really should be, then it would be, music would be so much better. Now everybody has to use auto-tune or, you know, some kind of gimmick. They don't let the music just speak for themselves. When did it become a necessity for a artist to be pretty or handsome just to sell fucking music? Has anybody ever looked at fucking Mick Jagger? He is not a pretty man, but he has put out some killer music with the Rolling Stones. I mean, not everybody has to be a pretty boy band to make it. Um, but the way society is going nowadays, that seems to be a must. The Beatles probably never would have made it if they had to debut in 2015 because they were not considered extremely handsome men. Yes, all the girls thought they were cute and everybody had their own favorite beetle, but compared to how artists are portrayed today, I don't think any of the greats would have truly made it with the way media is which is sad because if that had been the case we would have missed out on so so much wonderful music now i'm like i'm going to repeat not a big boy band fan i did not enjoy one direction this morning before coffee should i add But, I did, however, enjoy the second half of the listening because I got to listen to the Beatles. Yeah. I am not old enough to have seen the Beatles live. I'm only 41. I was not born till 1973. Three years after they broke up. But, I had awesome parents. They introduced me to every kind of music and I'm pretty eclectic in my taste I might be able to handle a One Direction song every now and then I'm not gonna be a girl fan it's just not no not gonna scream and oh please yeah no not gonna happen if I could hear them sing live in person without auto-tune without all the backup singers and the puff and sparkle and glitter and whatever the fuck else maybe they could win me over if they were truly as talented as what they're portrayed as but not every artist is yes they have to be talented to get a record deal but Let's hear them unplugged like MTV used to do and see how well they rock them. So, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, tell all your friends, and I will put the Facebook link down below, like always. And until next week, be good to everyone.
but especially be good to you.